Hey everyone. Hello. It's, uh, the Culinary Underground with Leah and Alex. And we are cooking live. We are outside today. It is a beautiful day here in the Friuli region of Northern Italy. Um, there is a yappy little guy across the street, so hopefully he doesn't make too much noise and uh, interfere with us too much. But it's a beautiful day. It started off really sunny and really gorgeous. A little overcast now, a little hazy, but nevertheless, we're cooking chicken. I just put one of the chickens on the grill. This is what we're making today. It is uh, cumin, paprika, garlic, vinegar, oil, salt, and pepper slathered in the chicken, um, left to rest overnight if possible. And then we're starting this one so we can uh, finish it up by the end of the show here. But Alex is gonna go ahead and demo a fresh chicken for you. Alrighty. So Alex has clean hands. And since we don't have access to hand washing stations out here, we're gonna use gloves while he's touching the chicken. Okay. So to pair this chicken, we are gonna serve it with some sliced grilled potatoes, which we're gonna get on the grill once this chicken is on. I also found some asparagus in the fridge. Um, so I'm gonna coat that with a little olive oil, salt and pepper, throw that on the grill as well. And we're gonna make a nice big salad um, to serve um, with our chicken. Today we kind of got up late, we kind of had a late start, and uh, I don't think we really had a solid lunch or breakfast, so once this is over, we are gonna grub. So Alex is gonna butterfly this chicken. What that means, oh, there's the church bells. Um, he's gonna take out the spine of the chicken. We're gonna try to keep this as knife free as possible, just using some sharp kitchen scissors. We're gonna season this chicken, and then we're gonna throw it on the grill. So while Alex is cutting out the spine, I'm gonna go ahead and make the uh, seasoning. All right, so we have a tablespoon of cumin, and I didn't really measure, I'm just kind of eyeballing here. And so my little spices don't fly away. A little uh, paprika, same amount. All right, I'm gonna go with a little bit of salt, maybe two teaspoons of salt there to a tablespoon of each of my spices. Oops, sorry, Alex. Got some fresh garlic cloves here. It's a small space for two people. One of us is a lefty. Hope everyone's doing well. Bralia is watching. Bralia. Hey, Bralia. Thanks for watching. Answers a question if anybody's out there. <laughs> All right. And I'm not going to cut. I'm just mincing the garlic here. All right. Again, we'd like to keep these as real as possible with as many, you know, real life, real time techniques while we're doing this. This is two very large cloves of garlic going into Urgh. How are you doing over there, Alex? Got that spine, spine out. out. Perfect. Now you're going to turn it around and you're going to break his breastbone and flatten him out. One nice flat chicken while we're cooking. Okay, so I'm getting the seasoning going. We've got some cumin, we've got paprika, we've got garlic. We're gonna put a little vinegar, which we have here. And vinegar, if you can let this sit overnight, is gonna help tenderize the meat. All right, we also need a little bit of neutral oil and some pepper. We've got the salt in there. Now, some nice pepper. Alex, you like to mix that up with your gloves and spread that all over your chicken. Try to get under the skin as well. All right, and this is where you get to get messy and have fun. It's okay, much bub. easier when you have gloves on. It is, and then your fingers don't turn red. All right, you can see we have our beautiful little purple tree behind us. We love this tree when it blooms out. It's vibrant green and purple, and it's beautiful, and it just hangs over the front of our gate there. Um, we decided to come to the front yard today because it is a little more visually appealing than our backyard, which we love. Uh, but this is such a beautiful background, and hopefully maybe you get to see some Italians driving by or walking by. Not likely, everybody's still on lockdown. Um, oh, there's a car. Yeah, okay. <laughs> a right, slight hint of society is still out there. Yes, get it everywhere and then flip it over and let's get that going as well. We'd like to pan over here and just check out the one we have on the grill. Uh, you can see how we're doing. It's got some nice little char there. I've lowered the heat on this side of my grill. Um, so it's gonna start to cook a little slowly, a little more evenly. I don't wanna burn, I don't want any flare ups. Um, there is some oil on here and that would cause some flare up. Got a nice clean grill, nice clean uh, piece of foil there to catch all my drippings. All right, let me clever that up. All right. 
This is looking good, Alex, looking good. By cutting the spine out of this chicken and breaking them open, we're exposing more of the surface area, more of the chicken to the heat. It's gonna help it cook faster. Um, it's gonna help it cook a lot more evenly than if we kept our chicken whole and intact. Um, so this works great. You can do this, the same recipe in a skillet. Um, get some nice caramelization on your chicken and then pop that skillet in the oven to finish cooking. If you don't have access to an oven, you can still do this. Um, get yourself a nice pan, give the, the, the chicken a good sear on the skin side, um, say maybe five to eight minutes, um, medium heat, so the fat renders off and he starts to get crispy. Flip him over and then leave him on your heat source for about 12 minutes and it should cook all the way through. Again, check your temperatures. You wanna go to 165. Can you get into it? I think we wanna go into the breast side, babe. Oh, yeah, sorry. Forgot to turn him around. There you go. Now Alex is just gonna use his fingers to get under the skin. While that's going, I'm gonna get set up for um, the cream sauce. And there's our landlord over there, Adrian. Uh, he's not looking at us, he's going to his daughter's house for coffee. Um, that's one thing we do miss is having coffee with the landlords on a pretty weekly basis. Um, but they're older. Uh, our landlady has a weakened immune system, so we're definitely not compromising her health and we have stayed our distance and not bothered her. I'm gonna say hi. Buongiorno, Adriano. <laughs> and that's good. It's a buon pomeriggio right now because it's the afternoon. But he lets me slide with my broken Italian, and uh, he might be headed this way. I'm not sure. There's our landing. We're live on Facebook. We're making a movie. <laughs> All right, so I'm checking my chicken. He's looking beautiful. Oh yeah. I'm gonna move him over. It's a little warmer over here. All right, so in my little food processor, I'm going to put in a few cloves of garlic. Alex, I think you're doing well. You let me know when you're ready to throw that on the heat. Yeah. And again, if you're able to let this chicken rest overnight um, with the seasoning, even better. It'll absorb that paprika, that cumin, that garlic flavor. Um, I'm not even going to uh, cut that up. I'm just tossing it in. I think it's ready. Okay. I'm going to use my tongs. All right, Alex. And I want you to get rid of those gloves, Bob. And we are setting this guy on the fire. Nice sizzle, tucking his little wing underneath him. Alex, you discard this. Maybe off to the side somewhere. Okay, so I've got my on the floor, um, maybe up Bottom. here on the chair. Got some jalapenos, and I'm just going to do a quick chop. Um, I want spice in this sauce, so I'm going to keep my seeds and my membrane intact there. Um, I'm going to do two jalapenos. Hoping this doesn't get too spicy, but each jalapeno is different. Just like every drop of snow, they're all different. Some might be spicy, and some might not be. Okay, Alex, let's get some mayonnaise. There's some mayonnaise in here. Just got my notes so I don't forget since we've changed the course of action here. Uh, I don't want to forget what I'm doing. Okay, so get yeah, all of that, about a half a cup of that. And there goes our landlord with his dog, Shadow. Ciao! Ciao, Shadow! <laughs> Pan over. Yeah. <laughs> Ciao! <laughs> <laughs> That's Adriano, the best. Okay, put that up to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this up really quickly. <laughs> and there's Shadow. All right, that's breaking up beautifully. Alex, let's do some uh, sour cream and we're gonna do some cilantro. Now you could just use the, the leaves of the cilantro, but I like really nice cilantro flavors. So I'm gonna use the stems as well. Yeah, that's good. All right, throw some cilantro in here while our chicken's cooking. And Alex, would you be a deer and slice up one of uh, these limes? We're gonna flatten it, give it a little roll, get some of that juice working. All right, Bob? Mama's checking chicken. Oh yeah. I'm gonna move this guy over here. Heat's nice and low. Okay. Into the fat. See how our fresh chicken is doing. He could use a little more heat, so there's the hotter side of my grill. All right. There we go. Yummy. Okay, so lime juice, can you squeeze the lime in here? 
in, yeah, not on Mama, in the container. Let's do the other one as well. And we're looking for about two teaspoons. Okay, so right now we have garlic, jalapeno, some cilantro, some mayonnaise, some sour cream, a little olive oil, a little extra virgin, some lime juice. Blend that up. Can you blend that up, Bob? need to be super smooth this is just a nice um, accompaniment to the chicken it's a little cool a little spicy all right dump that down mommy did not bring out spoons today let's give that up a little mix and break that up and today we're gonna taste with our fingers let's see how we're doing. oh yeah let's give it a taste mmm some salt and pepper yeah cilantro yeah. I think maybe a hint of lime some salt some pepper, and then see if I can squeeze any more lime out of these. Oh yeah, oops, we got a little little piece in there. Oops. Yeah, get that out. All right, give it another mix, and then we're done with that. Got Alex. some potatoes. I'll slice one up, Alex, and you can slice the rest. All right. These are boiled potatoes. Um, I don't think we need to demo a boiled potato, um, but if I can make a video. And we're just going to do some nice kind of thickish slices, maybe a half an inch. And what I'm going to do with these is season them up with a little olive oil, salt, and pepper. We're going to throw these on the grill, get some beautiful grill marks. Alex, would you like to go ahead and finish those off? too thin thick yeah good perfect They're a little thicker yeah and these are already cooked all the way through we're just finishing them on the grill yep an excited flat hand there you go safety first all right let's go ahead and just do one more I'll start to get these seasoned up a little extra virgin olive oil rub of that. We're all hands today. We're out in the beautiful mm, weather here in Friuli, northern Italy. I would just like to pull the asparagus out from the bottom there and let's get that seasoned. We'll do a drizzle of some extra virgin olive oil and some salt and pepper and kind of rub the oil into those. All right, get this going on the grill. Okay, I'm gonna season the other side. Season, season, season. It's all about the flavor. Alex is doing a lovely job. Okay. And I'm just placing my potatoes on the hot grates. All right. So Alex, oh, we could go with a little more oil on those suckers. There you go, help get that uh, salt and pepper mixed around in there. Smile. Hey, isn't he handsome? Oh my gosh, and he can cook. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a three point something GPA, and uh, he's got a <laughs> good sense of humor. All right, let's go ahead and get this on the grill. So our grill grates go lengthwise. We want to put our asparagus across so we don't drop them into the bottom of our pan. I don't know about you, but I love asparagus. The only downside is um, on base, it's a little expensive. Off base, it's, it's a little more doable. Oops. All right. So I'm going to close this up, but let me check my chicken. Oh, yes. He's looking beautiful. Cooking like a champ. Chicken over here. Doing well. Okay. So 
we're gonna let that cook. And in the meantime, we're gonna make a quick little salad. We're gonna serve with our chicken today. Don't know what our time is right now. I'm not wearing my watch. Oh, there you go, babe. But, uh, oh, that looks it's like It's 4.17. Okay, so we're doing okay. Feels like it's been like an hour and a half, but it's been about 17 minutes. So we're doing great. Our timing's good. We don't wanna rush this chicken. We want this chicken to be cooked all the way through, 165 minimum. Um, in any case, I might send Alex in to get a thermometer just so we can check in real time how we're doing. Would you like to do that? Sure thing. Good. Grab, get that nice big one with the plastic handle. Enjoy a glass of water. Mm. Weaning off the wine a little bit. You know? Yeah, it's a beautiful day. A little overcast. We're here in Italy. We're live. We're making our chicken. Um, we've got a beautiful little town here, our little hamlet that we live in. The wind feels good, a little breezy, it's perfect. Probably if you have any questions, it. throw them out. Uh, this is a little bit more of a disorganized live cast because we're doing some outside grilling. It's new to us, it's a little change of pace. I got my thermometer here. I will start temping my chicken in about five to seven minutes to see where we're at on the one that we started right before we went live. Um, my gauge on my grill says it's about 400 in here. It's perfect temperature. Um, I had a designated hot zone and a cool zone, but right now I've just kind of just gone to cool and low all over since I don't want my chicken to uh, get overly cooked or get burnt. Um, I do have a beautiful char on the first chicken. It's got lots of flavor. It's, it smells so good. Yeah. Just checking my potatoes. Oh yeah. Getting some nice little grill marks on these potatoes. And it's just for presentation and for some flavor. It's gonna toast up that skin just a little bit. All right, we're gonna serve this with a big platter, uh, which I have a clean one down here with our asparagus. I'm just gonna move my asparagus around. We're getting a little char. a nice crunchy asparagus. I've got beautiful char right there. It's starting to soften up a little bit. So I'm just going to move these guys up to the top to stay warm and continue to cook, but not overcook. All right. Okay. So got that said and done. Let's get a salad. Alex, you want to grab the lettuce there? I'm going to move my thermometer off to the side. Okay. So this is just a, a bag of grocery store lettuce, two bags actually. We have this beautiful um, lamb's leaf lettuce, and then we have a blend of radicchio, nice and bitter, um, some nice light lettuces, baby lettuces there, um, as well as some arugula, some rucola. So we're gonna dress this simply. We're gonna uh, add in some cucumber, because that's what I have on hand. From our hummus demo last week or earlier in the week, uh, we made hummus and had fresh veggies. I found a half a cucumber in my fridge, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some of that in. Do you wanna pop all the cucumber in there? Because I like crunch, Alex likes crunch. I had a couple of tomatoes that were starting to die on me, so we've got some tomatoes here. Nice sharp knife. Um, keep your knife sharp, it'll make cutting a soft tomato effortless. And safer. And safer. He's learning, this guy. All right, Alex, we're gonna do very simple olive oil and vinegar and salt and pepper dressing. Um, very Italian, olive oil, salt, pepper, vinegar. Basta. That's all you need. Italians do not do ranch or dressings or Thousand Island of any kind. Um, go ahead, drizzle, let you know and stop. All right, perfect. Now, the uh, vinegar does not come in a squeeze bottle. I have my big monster bottle here, so I'm just going to do a little drizzle of the vinegar. Perfect. Got little flies. I like to do a little pinch of salt, a little pinch of pepper. There's some traffic behind us, some movement. 
beautiful. It sounded like that one guy was going out for the uh, Indy 500 or something. All right, go ahead and give this a toss. We live off of kind of a main road. Uh, there's a main road that goes to the center of town, connecting our town to all the other towns. And then there's a little busy road back here that connects to more farmland and other small hamlets. Uh, but it's a, it's a main vein of our little town. A toss in. Beautiful. And that's just it. Olive oil, salt, and pepper. Um, you could dress your salad, of course, right before you eat. Uh, we want our arugula to get a little uh, wilted. So in the 10 minutes that it takes us to finish up lunch here, or liner, lunch dinner, liner is where it's at, um, the uh, vinegar and the oil are just gonna seep into that uh, radicchio and soften it up, make it really uh, nice, still crunchy, but a lot easier to eat. And you wanna show them the salad? It's a beautiful salad, very simple. So I'm just gonna move my potatoes up to the top as well. I want them to stay warm, but they're pretty much done cooking. And again, you could make this dish with a nice, you know, supple baked potato or some scallop potatoes or some rice um, and your vegetable of your choice. Oh yeah, beautiful. Ooh, fire. <laughs> Bring this guy up a little bit. My grill, this is my hot spot. Right here is my hot zone. I've used it. I got it in December as a present for Christmas, for Christmas, and I've used it enough to know that this is my hot zone. So when I want things to get a little more heat, I tend to move them to the front. Um, like I said, I've got some really nice color out here. I don't want any more. This is going to go great with that crisp, cool, spicy uh, sauce. So I'm really excited for that. But now I want my little chicken to cook. Let's see if you want to take a look. How beautiful. It's caramelizing. Gorgeous. Okay, so I'm letting him go. I'm turning up his heat just a little bit. I'm gonna bring this guy forward. Turn him up a little bit. Oh. So now we're we're just waiting on our chicken. We're going live. We're still live. <laughs> we get to like ham it up for a few minutes. Just a few minutes. This chicken will be done soon. Um, we've got lovely people that live here. You just can't see any of them because they're all in their homes. We're the, the weirdos in the front yard making chicken and potatoes. <laughs> but, uh, oh, I don't know if you can see in this car, there's some uh, blue ribbons on his windshield, on his little uh, wind mirrors, side mirrors. Uh, blue ribbon indicates that they just had a baby boy within the last few months. One of the really cool things about living here in Italy is seeing the traditions and the customs that are different than what we have in the States. Um, when a couple or a family has a new baby, a new boy, a new girl, they tend to decorate the outside of their houses with pink ribbons for girls, blue ribbons for boys. They usually stay up for a few months. Um, and the couple, the family can get as excited and as extravagant as they want with their decorations. Uh, there's some homes in the neighborhood here that have had big pink ribbons on them for the last few months. The house in the corner just took down their ribbons. They had pink and blue. So I'm guessing they had twin boys, boy and girl, twin boy and girl. Um, a red ribbon will signify graduation from school, I believe, and then a white ribbon is a uh, wedding. So it's Marriage. pretty cool. Yeah, so you can drive by somebody's house and, you know, yell, Aguri outside, you know, to compliment them when you see all these ribbons on their houses for all these really cool special life events. All right. I just want to take my temperature again on this chicken that we started initially. I'm going to go into the breast, see what the temperature is there, and I'm also going to temp the thigh. Almost about 120. Let's see where we're at in the thigh. Our thigh does cook faster. We're already at 150 with our thigh. So I'm actually going to separate him a little bit. Normally I would separate this guy um, after cooking, but I want to move things along. I'm sure you guys have things to do and you don't want to be out here with Leah all day long. So I've just got my knife, a little sharp knife, separating the thigh here. Oops. All right. You can see we're still not cooked there. Well, that's what we're going to try to achieve here. Again, uh, taking your time, cooking your chicken on a regular time schedule uh, will allow you to cut and present your chicken, you know, at the table for your, your family and, and those closest to you. But we're, we're going to need some shortcuts right now and get this going. All right. Actually, no, oh, we're good. Okay. And it's probably not recommended to have a shorter blade like that or a short blade like that when cutting it. Yeah. If they do have to. Yeah, yeah. You want to have safety, nice long blade, nice long tongs. You don't want to burn yourself. Oh yeah, he's looking beautiful too. The nice red paprika, looking good, looking good. All right, I'm gonna close this back up. 
keep our heat in. Every time we open it up, the heat goes out. So Alex, why don't we kill some time here and slice the rest of our potatoes? Get those going. All right, yeah. If you're still watching, thanks for sticking around with us. Again, I probably could have cut uh, this potato, this chicken in half and maybe gone a little faster or started it a little sooner. Um, but again, with our live videos, I love being as authentic as possible with timing. Um, and I love, uh, you know, letting you see everything in real time. You know, this is a family that started doing this to stay busy and, and maybe teach you something or two about cooking. Uh, Mama's a chef, dad's active duty military. Alex is a sophomore in high school. Um, he's awesome. We love him. We think we're going to keep him. So kudos to us. Uh, but we're just having some fun with this, killing some time. Hopefully you learn a trick or two or maybe a new recipe. If you're a novice cook, check out some of our other videos. Um, we have some great kind of Airman Basics classes, you know, that we teach with Alex um, for the novice cook. Okay, cool. So let's put those in the bowl. We're going to throw some olive oil in there. You can hear my fire just a raging. All right, you can use your hands and toss those up and then we'll season them. Beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and hit you with some salt and pepper, bud. I'm going to go from high above so it doesn't just cluster on one potato. Buon pomeriggio, Italia! We're here in northern Italy, yay! We love it here. Um, this is our second time living here. We were here in 2000, my husband was. I came out in 2001. Uh, we got married here in our little uh, northern region of Italy. We... Buongiorno, oh. buon pomeriggio! Ciao! Um, we gave birth to Alex here. I gave birth to Alex here. Lee was there. He was an active participant, but uh, <laughs> I could have done it without him. He was the best. Um, so Alex is, uh-oh, I might have flared up a little too much. Oh, no, no, no. We're still doing great. Still doing great. There is a little color, but he looks good. I'm just flipping him over. Oh, yeah. My thighs done. My thighs will be done in a second. Once our thighs are done, we're going to go ahead and get with that. Alex, would you like to run in and grab a plate for us? Sure thing. Thanks. Our breast meat starting to cook through nice and lovely so I have a little blood there so I'm just turning this guy back around all right and don't want to keep raising my licks I want that heat to stay in there but I'll throw these potatoes on after we're done for the family to eat later on um, and again this is just a simple boiled potato skin on to keep that flavor in that potato I had Alex just slice them about a quarter inch thick we've got some extra virgin olive oil we've got a little kosher salt a little pepper you could add some garlic into this maybe some paprika some onion powder really add some great flavor to that toss it on the grill or in a hot skillet with some oil boom you've got a soft tender inside of the potato nice and moist and uh, delicious fluffy and then flavored crusty caramelized you know toasted bits on the outside so we're gonna get ready to get our chicken off the grill in just a minute. We're gonna go ahead and plate up with a thigh today since that seems to be what's cooked quickly. And um, we'll take a picture of our platter when we're all done with the whole chicken, the potatoes, the salad, and post that up with the recipe as well. Alex, would you like to do me a favor and plate that? I need to let him do more. It's so hard to pull away, but he's so great. And this kid is a hands-on amazing dishwasher. So, love him. All right, that's a perfect amount of salad. We're gonna take some of our asparagus and some of our potato. So a couple of pieces of beautiful potato there. All right. Oh yeah, nice grill marks. Look at that, gorgeous. Oh yeah, this asparagus is perfect right now. It is cooked through hard, seasoned with olive oil, salt, and pepper. We're going to take a, a portion here, pop that on our plate. This is such a great summertime uh, dinner or lunch or dinner um, meal. Lovely. I'm going to temp up a piece of this chicken and see where we're at. Again, you want to go to 165 with your chicken. You don't want to eat undercooked chicken. Oh yeah, come on, 160. 162, 160, oh yeah, we're at 165. We're good. All right, let this continue to cook. Let's take off this piece of chicken. All right, I've got my beautiful thigh here, All right? Over our asparagus with our crisp salad, some potatoes. It's a good guy meal, isn't it? Yeah? yeah. Do you want to drizzle up some of this uh, cream sauce over this chicken? Sure can. 
Sure thing. <laughs> sure thing. Ting. <laughs> Just give them a nice little, little drizzle there. You can, of course, serve your sauce on the side. There you go. Yeah, perfect. Oh, there's our Charlie. Oh my gosh. Uh, so here we have our grilled chicken, paprika, cumin, garlic, vinegar, olive oil, salt, and pepper. If you can marinate it the night before, it's a dry kind of, that's a wettish rub. I get under that skin, um, let it soak, beautiful, and then grill it up. Grilled boiled potato, super easy. Grilled asparagus, olive oil, salt, and pepper, and a nice crisp salad, kind of just made from what I found in the fridge. So the Everton family is gonna definitely enjoy this later on today, once we're done filming here. Um, thank you so much for putting up with us during this uh, little different uh, live show. Alex, look at So next time we have a spot in the back where the grill usually is, so when we come outside again, we'll definitely go back out there. Um, what's today, Thursday? Yep. So okay, so Saturday we'll be back. Alex has requested to maybe cook a dish solo with mom kind of just standing off to the side guiding. We'll work on that and see what we're going to come up with. Um, if not, I will post up uh, Saturday's recipe and menu tomorrow on Facebook. So thank you so much for hanging out with us. Let's get a shot of this beautiful chicken again. This is the chicken that we did live. He's still cooking. He's looking great, um, but he's not up to temp yet. So we're going to let him finish cooking um, and go ahead and enjoy this one. I'm gonna pull ahead, go ahead and pull my potatoes off. They are done and amazing. Oh yeah, that's a good piece right there. All right, so thank you guys so much for sticking with us, watching live. This is a nice grilled chicken, good flavors. Tangy cilantro e jalapeno sauce. You could omit the cilantro or jalapeno and just do a nice garlic mayonnaise for dipping. Amazing. Um, so Alex? Want to say that? Thank you so much for watching, guys. We appreciate you. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Ciao. Ciao.